My name is Joel Absalom. I was reading an article on the BBC saying how 60% of women in the US have been harassed at some point on a run by themselves. And that really blew my mind. After that, I actually went on a run and I felt the Lord say to me in that, what would it look like if you gathered a bunch of men and you went around to other men and said, hey, enough is enough. This culture of harassment and sexual assault and rape is out of hand and disgusting and is never gonna end until we as men step up and acknowledge our responsibility in it and say, we're gonna stand up for our sisters. And thus, the Brothers Against Harassment movement was born. So I was, I was thinking, I was like, how can we make an impact on campus that will like, be different to anything that we've really done and also like, get across our message clearly? And I just felt the Lord put my eye in my brain, do a foot washing, have the men humble themselves to serve and empower the women and because nothing is a better picture than wanting to serve than washing someone's feet. So I came with a friend, my friend Taylor and I decided to go. Um, yeah, it was just a really warm space. So the foot washing ritual, uh, initially I was quite intimidated by it, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Um, I, I've only gotten my feet washed once ever before in my life and it was by someone who I'd developed a relationship with um, over a course of time. So the thought of getting my feet washed by two like, like people I didn't even know was um, intimidating at first, but once I was there in the space and watching everyone um, start to go up and in their own way and in their own, their own um, time, um, I, I kind of uh, got the courage or the, like the inkling from God that I, I needed to do it and step out into boldness and let my brother serve me in that way. We're seeing women who trusted and trusted us enough to like wash their feet, who are willing enough and supportive enough to like be a part of this. I think that's been like really inspiring, and I'm glad that I get to be a part of something that makes women feel safe, um, and comfortable, and seen and heard. That keyword, brother, like I think Joel, who was in charge of the event, really set that up well, with the fact that he called them brothers and that we are their sisters and a brother and a sister, like washing each other's feet. Um, that sibling bond is already so close, so that's what kind of broke down my barriers for sure. A lot of women there really just said thank you, like I love what you guys are doing, like I want to support. And then as the name's gotten out, then more and more men have said, I love this, how can I help, how can I get on board? So it's been such a blessing for that. I believe that if I start to sow a culture that I would want them to grow up in, then that's going to come back to me and the Lord is going to see that and he's going to honor that and he's going to look after my daughters or my wife or whatever. So um, yeah, it's not about me, it's about seeing men and women being able to have a brotherly, sisterly, like pure bond.